Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the LSP Colour Palette Collection. The Colour Palette Collection uh, will appear here in your Action Palette. Um, it will appear right at the bottom once you install it, which is where mine is. Um, you can drag it to the top, you can put it wherever you like. You open the folder and you will see all of the actions contained within the, uh, the Colour Palette Collection. The Colour Palette Collection is designed uh, to allow you to change colours within your image um, in the most adaptable way to your image, so retaining shadows and highlights, um, and also giving you complete control in this tweak section here. If you wish to darken or lighten the colour, mute it, um, add contrast, warm it up, cool it down, make it more intense or vibrant, um, deepen the tone, or maybe create a pastel, um, a pastel tone as well. You can also adapt these then for the skin tones, of your image. So for example, if you shoot an image on uh, green, for example, and you have a very green kind of color cast to the skin tone, and you wish to change this to pink, um, you may want to also adapt the color to your image, um, the skin tones to your image, and you can do that here. So all you need to be able to do is play an action, paint it on, um, and be able to zoom in just to make sure that your painting and your selection is accurate. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, what colour shall I change this one to, to begin with? I'm going to go for teal um, for this image, so I'm simply going to click the action and press play. This has played the teal action, as you can see, in like a second. I'm also going to switch to button mode up here by hitting button mode. You can see I've colour coded the actions for you. And in button mode, you simply have to click them. You don't even have to play them. I'm also going to move the actions in here, if it will let me. There we go, so the image is moved. So I'm on a white brush. My flow, I'm going to put around 25%. Obviously, you can have it 100% if you want to. And I'm just going to start painting the teal on. This is the same for any of the colours. They all work exactly the same. As you can see, the colour is somewhere between a mid-vibrant tone. Um, all of the colours will be a mid-vibrant tone. And that is where your tweak section comes in. If, for example, you wanted to mute the tone down um, or make it even more vibrant, you can do so there. As you can see right now, I'm just holding my hand down on a white brush and painting. The layer mask is already selected for you and it's painting here a little bit like a scratch card. So you're deciding where you want this colour to show. It is not changing your original image whatsoever. Not yet. Not until you decide to kind of save the image until you're happy. And even then you can save the layers and go back and, and change it more if you want to. So now I've made a base selection here. I'm going to switch over to a black brush and make it even harder so I can really start erasing away now any areas I don't want the colour to show. To make this even simpler, you can obviously do it by eye, um, as I'm doing right now switching between a black and a white brush to decide where you want the colours to show. Or you can hit the backslash button on your keyboard. Um, this um, on my keyboard is next to Z, uh, it's next to Z, but you may want to, um, you know, have a look around if you can't find it. I don't know, some keyboards are different. When you hit backslash, it will show you um, everywhere you haven't painted in red. Everywhere you have painted will come through the colour of the action. So for example, for this one, it's a teal colour. So now I can see any areas I've missed in red, and I can also see any areas I don't want in blue, so I can go over them with the black. I'm still on black, I'm not on a red or anything like that. This is literally a quick mask mode, so it's showing you where your mask is, because you are creating a mask when you paint onto a layer mask. So I'm going to come in here and paint. Even if you're a little bit sloppy with your selection, it doesn't matter right now because you can still go back and change this later. I would say to begin with, just make sure um, you've got your base selection sorted. Okay, so that is how we're making the collection um, selection. I'm not going to be too picky with this um, right now. As you can see, I've not even zoomed in or anything. Um, this is purely for demonstration purposes, but for you, I'd, I would hope that you'd be... Um, you know, a little bit more selective with your selection. Okay, so I'm going to hit backslash again and that's gone. So you can see now that's a pretty good selection. There are a few little bits where I can see some blue on the skin. Um, so I'm just going to go over here with a black brush and get rid. Okay, so that is adding the teal colour. 
uh, to the image. I haven't added it to the hat, I've just added it to the overall image. How about if I wanted to change this colour now? Okay, it's a lovely teal, it's a lovely teal colour, but what if I wanted it a little bit more muted, um, a little bit brighter, anything like that? So first of all, I'm going to hit mute the colour, and what this will do, it will add another layer mask. I don't even need to click on it, it's all selected for me. Uh, this will not affect your image, it will only affect the colour. So I may want to start muting this colour down. And what this will do is really gently mute that teal, just to take not so much the saturation out, but just to mute the tone a little bit. So if I turn that on and off now, you can see it's muted down the colour. What if I want to um, perhaps add a more intense, vibrant look to the colour, maybe say for this wrap or the whole image? I've just played that and I'm simply painting. So now you can see on the wrap area, I've made it more vibrant. You can warm the tone up by playing warm tone and again just play that on and that will add a warmer vibe uh, to your tone and again you can do the same with cool tone. You can make the tone more pastel if your image is paler perhaps than this one. Um, you can pastel the colour up there. So as you can see I played the colour for this, for this image it's teal and then I chose some of the tweaks just to tweak it down. What if I wanted a different colour? What if I'd added teal and I think, oh, how about, I don't know, a yellow? So I'm going to simply play the yellow. And instead of making a whole new selection, I'm going to hold down Alt on the teal layer mask here, on the white box, hold down Alt and drag it up to yellow. And as you can see now, I'm going to hide teal, that has added the yellow tone to this image. I can see some areas where my masking has been a little sloppy here. I think what I'm going to do is take some of, oh, come on, there we go, is take some of the yellow off this, um, this browner wrap here because I think that originally, you know, it goes quite nice. And I'm also going to fade it down a little bit into the brown there. Okay, and what about this hat? I may decide that now, um, you know, I want to kind of add the yellow, a yellow to this hat as well, or a different colour, so you can simply colour it in. And again, you know, I may want to mute, um, oh, a warm tone, I may want to mute the colour so I can simply click it. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And mute this yellow down. I can also play with the opacity right here as well, of the muting. So you can see, um, everything is so adaptable. All you need to do is just click, have fun, and play. I don't think I'm going to mute this blanket too much here. And as you can see, Baby looks quite pale um, in this image here. So I'm going to come down here for the adapter skin tones. Um, and I'm going to adapt the skin to the darker tone of the yellow. So I'm simply going to just start playing this in on skin. It's ever so, ever so lightweight. I'm just going to... Oh. I'm just in personal selection, just to get rid of some of this on the hat. So I've slightly darkened those skin tones up now. Um, it is so, so light, you can barely see it um, as you're painting it. Um, all of the LSP actions are very, very uh, non-destructive when it comes to the editing. Yellow, I may paint a little bit more yellow on here. You can also change the opacity of your overall colour layer just to add a little bit in or a lot in. So that's the yellow. And back to the teal. Warmer. And that's the original image. So um, you play the action, make your selection, and just paint where you want to paint. Let me just get rid of these. You also have a, um, a manual, choose your own colour. It will play out and a box will come up asking you to select your colour. You can choose from a colour in the image or you can choose your own colour. I don't know, let's go for green. I'd recommend choosing your colour from the slider here and then selecting around the middle. This gives you a lot more leeway. And again, this works exactly the same as the other LSP um, colour wash actions. You can just paint it on. You also have a, uh, a play all, mix and match, and what this will do, it will play every single colour for you. So if you're a bit undecided or you'd like to do um, an image in several different colours, 
you can play this one it will play out um, on my computer it's being rather slow because I have the, um, the video recording screen recording software running um, but this is actually playing like a thousand commands to set all of these up for you um, in like seconds <laughs> it's crazy so what this is doing it's literally just setting all of these actions up for you and then you can go through you know perhaps choose for example teal like I just did make your selection in exactly the same way and then you can simply transfer that selection to other areas I mean other other colors here sorry excuse my rambling and paint away you know you these really are so adaptable it's crazy so as you can see here all of the colors um, of the rainbow really for you to decide which colors you want to do your image including uh, grey this is dove grey and again you know this will adapt the exact same way as all of the other colors they will all adapt in the same way but unique to your image so I'm just making this wrap grey so you can see how quick these are to use. Um, I've just gone live, well, I'd say just gone live. Today is the 30th of January and I've gone live in the LSP group, the LSP Facebook group. So if you'd like to see a live edit um, of these actions, you can simply go in the group and have a look. There are a lot of perks to being in the LSP group. So I've just changed that to gray for example. So this is the LSP color base paints. Um, the, the colour palette collection, you have your colour based paints, your tweak section, the adapter skin tone section and the overall um, section, this will change, um, allow you to change the overall image so for example I've just added a little vignette in there, um, you could warm up the whole image um, I'm just going to show you how that looks, I've just took the layer mask off and on again so I can add like this warming um, layer for example around here which is great if you add a warmer colour to a cooler image anyway I could waffle on for hours about these actions um, they're incredibly simple to use they are instant download they go instantly into your Photoshop they run in seconds all you need to be able to do is paint um, so yeah happy painting um, please share your work in the LSP group so I can see what you're doing and um, you can also ask any questions in there. I'm in there all the time. Um, yes, I can't wait to see what you do with them.